Hello everyone and welcome back to Flourishing Academy. In this video, we're going to be looking at the final aspect here. I know I said the final aspect in the last video and I did not actually prepare that. The reason is I don't want it to be too lengthy, and that's why we're doing this last video. This is prom this promises to be very short because all we want to do is just write the code to translate from English to French and then we're going to implement that in the remaining language by ourselves. Now, let's get into it immediately. But before we continue, please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment in the comment section below if you're enjoying what we have actually offering you on this channel. All right. How do we translate using the code? In the last video, we talked about the login details, and then uh, we were able to come up with this, you know, short code. If you're having any challenge with this, please feel free to check up in the link above. Uh, to know how we got here how do we translate and then to do that we're going to go to the french uh, navigator and we're going to you know write a little bit of code to do that all right so we're going to go to the block area and don't forget what i said for you to be able to um write any code you need to understand the logic now what we want to do is when i click on this translate button whatever text the user input right there should be translated and then shown in this label so the first thing you need to do without further without wasting your time is to clear this one you don't want to see it and another thing you want to do is to change the text color to uh, probably red so that it can appear in red, all right? And then also you wanna make sure it's bold and um, and then I think that's the major thing you need for now. All right, so let's go back to the code area. Now when you go to the code, you will start with a code that says when the French translate button is clicked because that is what will trigger what is in the text, right? So when the, when the text translate button is clicked, I want to take what is in the text box, okay? I want to take what is in the text box and translate it from English to French. Now let's do that. We're gonna go back to um, This time around, we're going to go to. It's not going to be call company again. It's going to go. It's going to be the app feature because there's a translator um, a feature that that came with Tonkable. Thanks to Tonkable for that. So you go to speech, and then this is the right there. This is it. it says translation. Yeah, exactly. So that is it. So what what we want to do now is we want to change from English, the British English, not the US English now. Okay, English. Okay, at least English. Yeah, this one. I want to change from English to and then choose French. Exactly. But now this time around, we're not saying hello. We want to say what is inside the text. So that means that takes you back to knowing the name of the label. In this case, now the name of the label is what French text input. So you're going to take French text input. You're going to put it inside that. Uh, text. So let's go back to the code. You'll see French text input. Take French text input. French text input. And you mean the text. Drag it and put it inside. Um, put it inside. Yeah. So this is what translates French text input. Yeah. So after translating it, I want to show it in the label, right? So we need to know the name of the label too. So we're going to go back to the design. And the label that we just canceled out, what's the name? It says, let's just click on the label. The label is French translate label. So we go back to the code and say uh, French translate label. And then you set uh, French translate label text. And then you set that 
to translation exactly so now what this will do is it's going to say okay we want to translate the text from english to french it's going to do that but now we need to wait and then show it so you go back to control and then say wait for one second after waiting for one second now we want you know we want um our our translator to say so how do we get that you go back to speech also you can see now there's a save block right here okay you're going to take the save block now you're going to say whatever is inside uh, the label all right so you're going to go to translate label and then you just you know pick that translate label text put it inside right here and then it's going to say it in french and not in english because that's exactly what we want you're going to say that in french and this is how it can work all right now let's check it out if this is working or not so we're going to go to all right now let's run a work to see what we've done so far so i'm going to just you know try to run whatever we want to okay i'm going to use a short one mic and uh flow and i want to click on login it tells me how the length of your username and password must be okay so i just need that to be able to log in flourish and i could just you know type anything and when i click on login it takes me to the environment now in this case now let me say good morning and when i click on translate right now let's see if that will work bon matin bon matin that actually worked uh if i want to say how are you and then i said what how how are you and then when i click on translate what do you do comment êtes vous do you understand? So this is how to do the translation translation app. I hope we'll be able to implement that on the Spanish, the Mandarin. And then for the others, what I want you to do for the others is I want it to be able to create different uh, tabs for different languages. Maybe probably like a drop down menu, select the language and translate. I want to see what you can come up with. But for now, I hope you understand how to translate from um, English or French, I would want you to actually implement that for Spanish and Mandarin. And let me see what you come up with. Okay. Um, this will be the end of the translator app. And um, I'll see you in the next tutorial. For now, stay blessed and keep flourishing. Bye.